Hi, in this video I want to have another look at the weekly targets I have set for King of Avalon. As, as usual I will go through my targets of uh, last week and set new targets for the, for the coming week. One thing that uh, yeah, was a lot tougher than I uh, thought, than I anticipated, didn't really think it through, was uh, to get Fortimer to level 30. I only got to level 23, I haven't really used credits to get the hero XP, just uh, use the normal items that I got from the various activities. I will just, uh, yeah, for the coming week, I will just keep working towards that target of 30. There's actually two uh, reasons why I'm doing that. It's just the direct reason of the extra cavalry attack, which is nice, but also ultimately I want to get to four stars to get the extra 18% cavalry damage. And to get to four stars, I also need to have the uh, XP level to uh, 30 so I'll just keep working uh, on that one of the ongoing things is the VIP points I want to get to level uh, 12 my goal was to get to uh, 395,000 remaining points this week I should make that easily it's currently uh, for me in Asia Sunday morning um, and I still have some uh, points uh, from the uh, from a match expire that I'm going to to use to get some more VIP points. I also uh, used some um, of uh, yeah bought some VIP items from the store. Still have some credits. Bought quite a lot for one million, which is I mean quite a lot of credits, not a lot of points. But this this did allow me to buy some other things in the match expire, which I really uh, needed. So I will just keep working on that next week. Uh, yeah, the goal is to have only 360k remaining. Also probably use some Alliance Honor again. For the buildings, currently I'm doing University uh, 30. That is not completed yet. I might speed it up soon. For now I keep it going. I was uh, quite empty on uh, resources when doing that. Most of my farms, I have four active farms. Most of those, now all of those actually, I have reached... Um, the floor 55 in the Forbidden Labyrinth, which allows me to get quite some resources. So that just allowed me to make, uh, yeah, to start University 30, especially the silver was very tough uh, for me. I do buy resources every day for my main account in the Forbidden Labyrinth, but that, uh, yeah, that was not nearly, uh, nearly enough. So that's quite, uh, it was quite tough, but at least I've done that now. That is one of the important ones and one of the difficult ones so i'm happy to to do that to have done that i'm now going to focus on getting my uh, my barracks to 30. i hope to complete it this week but that might prove to be too uh, too tough i'm really my buildings are really a bit lacking so i hope that this new resources that i get for my farms will allow me to go faster with those because besides the um, the barracks i still have to do uh, the the seeds workshop and also yeah my prestige banners which I will get into next I'm currently uh, maxing out uh, the levels on a lot of my damage and damage reduction buildings so those I also actually want to increase to the next uh, level a lot of them are still at uh, at 26 and I need to get those to 20 uh, 27. Okay, so that's for the buildings, a lot, a lot to do. Um, talking about the prestige banners this week, I still, okay, I can do that now, should be able to have, but I just had enough now to only do one uh, level. I, yeah, we didn't have the, in, always mentioned that, like in the spirit altar, we chose for the material ones, which is nice, and we maxed it, so that's good. Got to get a lot of materials, but, yeah, if I don't get a prestige banner one there, it's very difficult to make uh, significant uh, progress. So I'm now going to increase the uh, cavalry damage received, which is nice, but it's not... Um, yeah, I mean, I would have liked to do more for so for next week. That also, whether I can make progress depends on... Um, well, on two things actually, depends on the selected uh, spirit, but it also, um, yeah, what is also important is uh, am I being, am I going to be able 
to upgrade other buildings because ideally I want to now continue with the next level so the level 27 of the damage and damage received buildings but yeah then I need 1298 to do the embassy so that might be if I don't get that and I need to upgrade my embassy and a lot of the other buildings like the forge and the trap factory as you see here as well so that's something to work on once I have uh, done my uh, completed my university I can start doing research and then I can do quite some combat to research so that I'm going to focus on um, yeah to do next that's really uh, maybe some combat one research but mostly the combat two research that's really going to give me a lot of boost and in research I'm still yeah lacking at the moment if we look at um, the completion details you see that the the, yeah, I'm, I'm not good in, in all of them. I mean, I'm not, haven't reached that, but uh, the research one is still lacking behind. So that's something I hope now that I have reached University 30 can really yeah, do some work on and compensate on. Although those projects all take quite some time, so not sure how much I can do. But uh, yeah, I have quite a reasonable research speed boost, so I'm hoping to make some progress there. And actually resource requirements for the research should be quite okay because they don't require a lot of silver and for the rest still quite okay although iron I also needed quite a lot uh, the barb rallies uh, oh yeah so for the research I also completed my stamina two uh, stamina recovery two project last uh, week um, I'm now reached level 10 which is quite important to keep the uh, stamina recovery going very yeah important i would say it's the gift that keeps on giving to have a high stamina recovery because you keep being able to do a lot of barb rallies and a lot of uh, killing a lot of monsters and it gives you a lot of goodies so don't forget about that one um the barb rallies and uh, material chest actually this week i was able to do quite uh, quite some which is nice so i want to open them uh, open them up now so it's able to reach uh, 75 so let's first do this one nice amount of spirit smoke that i can help people with yeah for this you know the usual things so catch some hero xp so that's nice i can maybe use it to get fortimer up a bit bonus barbarians barbarian chest um, so 144 that's a little bit less than uh, two per chest but it's actually quite good I'm quite happy with that um, yeah, I'm now going to work towards my um, uh, towards the sword of the dead seeker set so next week I hope to be able to do 70 barb rallies and uh, yeah get another maybe another like this amount of those uh, those fragments so I'm now at 164 so still quite some some way to go um, yeah what is a bit of starts to be a bit of a problem is that I'm running out of the barbarian keys uh, so it's really important to keep doing those dailies to get them I had a large stock when this whole concept was introduced so from that point of view my laziness was uh, yeah was working uh, for me this time, but yeah, once I'm running out of them, it can take quite some time to uh, yeah get enough, and it takes quite some time, quite some days, to accumulate enough of those barbarian keys to get another uh, rare material. So that's um, yeah, I hope I'm going to get have enough with this 96, and once I accumulate while using them, to get me to. Um, to have enough for my sword but yeah after that it will go slower uh, what i did do this week two things uh, i started collecting the uh, the dead seeker scroll fragments from here every day so i want to be able to uh, make the the sword and if i don't have enough here i can uh, uh, and it's also available from the spirit store uh, so that's that's fine um, and another thing i did is i bought the warmonger necklace for 44k gold in the merchant fair 
so I did this. You see, there's still, so you could also do that. There's still a few uh, available, not always. So, yeah, pay attention to that, but don't pay more than 44 because there, are, yeah, often every few days you at least see 44. Uh, they say the average price is 36, but you really have to pay a lot of attention, I guess, to buy them for cheaper than uh, 44. I haven't seen that. I'm looking, I'm not looking all the time, but I'm checking a few times a day, but never see cheaper than uh, 36 and sometimes uh, 44 and sometimes not even 44. So I guess if you're selling, you should try 44 and that's likely to sell as well. But yeah, 36 on average or 39 on average, I see sometimes that, uh, yeah, those are really very nice. And you buy this if you, I buy it for now to use the Warmonger necklace, but the main reason is that the Warmonger necklace has a rare material that I'm going to use later to build a, a tool a craft the, the death seeker um, talisman so that's the the real reason and those are yeah you need four their materials for those are a lot more expensive so i might buy another one i still have some gold um, in the coming week don't know yet i mean it's just going to help me get faster to get a full death seeker set and that i still uh, i still want I'm working on the yeah next one is I'm working on the Valor gemstones. Uh, this week going quite well, but I'm I'm not there yet. Uh, but yeah, Sunday is not finished yet, so I still have quite some uh, credits that I can use. So I should be able to finish one, and then the next week I hope to finish another one. I'm also still collecting the the credits for the lucky shot but i haven't done anything yet uh, so i still have this screen with both uh, another conquest stone as well as a raw chivalry gemstone but i'm just going to yeah wait a while until i got quite some of those coins before i start using it because maybe a better field is going to show up in between um yeah the emblems is something i just keep working on i don't see anything uh, yeah any other way besides here to keep getting them hopefully i get my first uh, ra raw radiant emblem of enough fragments um, soon and for dress i keep all of them and uh, the aggression ones i turn into points and the uh, brilliant aggression ones the bright aggression ones i turn into points brilliant aggression ones I hope to get, but that will take another 10 days or 11 days. I hope to get then, uh, yeah, enough points to upgrade uh, some of them to the next uh, level. So I also want to mention about dragon skills. So these keep being quite important in my eyes because they also give damage and damage reduction boost. So. Now I'm getting close to 20, most of them are still at 18, but I feel they're getting close to 21. Uh, and in 21 there is another jump in the boost. So for example, for the infantry backbone it goes from 56 to 62. So I now am planning to get one, one by one to get my dragon skills to 21. So not worry about individually all getting them to 19, all getting them to 20, all getting them to 21. Um, so infantry backbone one is the first one I will get for uh, the guardian skills and march of fury i plan to be the first one but that's still quite a long way to go the first one of my assault skills not sure whether that is the best but i'm just uh yeah just working on it like uh, like that if you look at the attacks i have the um the cavalry crawl claw and the flaming arrows that do damage against uh, bowmen cavalry and infantry then i have my march of fury and then i have the three um, the three infantry backbone i do have this infantry backbone three i'm not really sure about that i feel for real combat it doesn't have that much value but it does have uh, it does seem to give uh, some benefit for the merlin trials so i focus on uh, on those actually these emblems also help with the merlin trials so definitely good to have those emblems and yeah for that you also get a lot of goodies from completing the merlin trials or getting further in the merlin trials so yeah don't disregard the emblems 
Yeah, it is still quite some time at this moment. I don't use specific credits. Maybe later, once I have finished, I just want to finish, uh, finish the gemstones first, and maybe later I'm going to get some other things like dragon XP or maybe assault and guardian points from this uh, uh, shop. But yeah, currently I'm just focusing on uh, getting yeah, other things up, like the a lot of focus on the refining stones, and I also have the death seeker equipment scrolls and things like that and the vip points so there's just uh, too much at the, at the moment to really benefit a lot um one last thing that i yeah i already mentioned it actually like keep focusing on the daily rewards as as well they are very important i these days uh, now that they put a donation um and it's a uh, uh, this alliance donations back with the endless growth project i really focus on this uh yeah on, on, on getting all my points for the daily rewards because yeah actually the the resources okay not that important but those noble keys i feel are quite uh, quite important so let's yeah have a look at those just yeah normally i should get 26 so that is seven times three plus five from the kingdom threat column if we are able to complete it i haven't done the sunday ones yet so now it's only 23 not 26 but if you complete these um, normally you get quite some noble batches so 35 normally even get a little bit more uh, new resources nice as well but it's mostly those noble batches that is just a nice extra and yeah, this way, even yeah, long before I have the, uh, probably long before I have the resources and the prerequisites to get my stronghold to 31, I already got most of the requirement of these noble batches, uh, maybe even get to the full 1000 requirement for the stronghold uh, upgrade. So keep, keep doing those, keep doing those daily rewards, even the last step is important. The other steps are of course also important for the other things you uh, you get um, okay that was it for for this week if you have any questions or suggestions it's always uh, welcome and and yeah look out next uh, week for another video of the growth okay thanks for watching